Hi lads, welcome back everyone. So uh, let's talk about the intersection and the union of two or more intervals. So before we go further, let's recall back the concept of intersection and also the union between two sets. So um, let's try this example over here. Let's say we have two sets, which is A, set A and set B. So um, how can we find the intersection between these two sets over here? So um, basically what we do is first we, we shade the area of the set one by one. So let's focus on A first for the intersection. So what we do here is we just shade the, the, the entire area of set A. So like this. And we do the same for set B and I. I will change my pen here. So for B, I use the red line. So uh, to find the intersection between these two sets, we just focus on, we just consider the, the, the area where the lines, the blue line and the red line is in, intersect each other. So uh, this area will be the intersection of the blue and the red line, which means the intersection between set A and set B is just like this. So we have set A and set B over here. So the area that belongs to both set A and B is just this area. So, so the elements that we consider for both A and B are just in this area. So for intersection, the concept is the, the elements that belong to A and B for both sets. What about the union over here? So again, what we do, we shade the, the set one by one. So I start with A first, just like we, we do the at for, for, for intersection here. So let's start with A. And then we do the same for set B. And for union over here, what, we'll, what, what we want to look and consider is just the element for either A or B. So we consider all the elements Either it's from A or from B. So uh, it should be like this. It should be like this. The answer should be like this. So we have set A over here and set B over here. We, we, we consider all the, the elements that belong to either A. So it belongs to either A. And we also consider the elements from B. So it, it's either from A or from B. So for union, the keyword is or, and the, for the intersection, the keyword is N, which, which, which uh, shows that it belongs to both A and B. So for intersection, both the union or. So um, let's go back to our main discussion. So let's say I have these two, these two intervals. We have A and interval B over here with A 
between 0 to 5 and it half open interval and for B right here we have open interval from negative 2 until 4 so um, let's have a look for for its or their their union and also their intersection so um, let's start from the intersection point of view for interval a and b so uh, we have we have our number line here we have our number line here so um, the end points or the the, the 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 important points here that we should be uh, consider here is from negative to 0 4 and 5 so let's draw that 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 those numbers first so we have negative 2 we have 0 we also have we also have 4 and 5 So uh, for the first set or for the first interval a, it start from zero until five with zero with 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 dense dot and for five with empty dot over here. So we have our first intervals, and for b we have negative two up until number four with both endpoints does not include it in the interval so uh, we have empty dot for both endpoint so uh, the next step is we, we want to look at the intersection between these two intervals or set Therefore, it's, it's quite obvious, isn't it? We just consider these, these area. So from 0 up to 4. So uh, up 0 up to 4. And then for 0 over here, the end point 0 over here, it belongs to set A. And it also belongs to set B. Therefore, 0 is included. And we denote it with box bracket. What about number 4 here? Number 4, it belongs to the first set A. But it doesn't belong to the second interval, set B. Therefore, 4 is not included. Therefore, we denote it with, with, with round bracket over here. So uh, what about the union? Let's move on to the union about A for A and B. So again, the first one, the first step is we draw our number line with, with the end points negative 2, 0, 4, and 5. So we have negative 2, we have 0, 4, and 5 over here so again this is the same step for A we have 0 until 5 and for B negative 2 up to 4 So uh, for union of two, these two intervals, we consider all the elements that 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 uh, that are belongs to either set A, the first the first interval, and also for also for the the second interval B. So it's either from A or from B. So the answer should be negative two. So from negative two up until 5 so we have negative 2 up to 5 and negative 2 with with round bracket because because it doesn't belong to the first 
interval and it also does not belong to the second one negative 2 is not included for both intervals and also the same for number 5 here so this one negative 2 until 5 this the, the, the union between a and b is the the open intervals and for the intersection here we have half open intervals so uh, Hope this video helps you in understanding the intersection and union of two intervals. Till next time, bye bye.